Good morning. Live from Sedona, but it doesn't look like it. It's a little rainy outside this morning. So I decided I would just do my live right here. It is so beautiful here. I know I say that every time I'm here. Mm. There is something about this place that is just so magical. Um, it's so peaceful. Good morning, Mindy. Um, it's just so peaceful here. And you know what I love is the air. The air smells so good. It's been raining here overnight. And that fresh smell that you get when you open the door when you're in a place like this, it's just, um, you know, it reminds me of home in Idaho. It reminds me of my childhood and growing up there, something I always took for granted. And in the city, even though I'm sort of in a suburb of Phoenix, it's still, I mean, it's still all concrete and cars and freeways. And you just don't get that same smell. You don't get that same smell. You don't get that same feeling when you walk outside in the morning. So I have a fabulous room. Oh my gosh. Um, I typically have a studio and I typically stay in the same room or, or there's actually two different rooms that I've stayed in like the, what, four times or so I've been here. And this time she said, well, no, you have a one bedroom suite. And I'm like, oh, okay. I thought I booked the wrong thing. Um, it was about the same price though. So I didn't think anything of it. Oh my gosh. It's a one bedroom apartment. <laughs> it really is. It has like a living room. It has a little kitchen with even has a dishwasher. It does not have an oven, only a microwave. It has a two burner stove, full size refrigerator, coffee maker, most important. And there's a table with four chairs, a beautiful veranda with a, with a table and chairs, um, a big, huge bedroom. And so anyway, it was really a nice little surprise. I ended up, uh, came up yesterday morning again and we did the live stream with Natalie on, uh, on her channel and then I shared it on my personal page. Couldn't get it to share on my business page for some reason when we were doing it. And you know me, I was like, I, I was like, I don't have time to mess around with this crap. It'll just be what it is. And, um, <laughs> which I think would drive Natalie crazy. Cause I'm like, Oh, just go with this. She's like, Oh no, no, no. It just has to look professional. And you know me, it's like, uh, I'm not so much that way. But anyway, it, uh, it was a beautiful backdrop with the Oak Creek river behind us. Oak Creek, I guess it is not a river, just a Creek. <laughs> right behind us and um, there were four of us that were on the live stream and just had a great discussion about a lot of different things so we had people um, that were tuning in from the Phoenix area and stuff as well that uh, that couldn't be here for this and so I think we're kind of changing up the format of it a little bit and you know we'll, it will evolve as we go and the most important time though is having that sisterhood time right spending a day with girlfriends and talking about really deep things, not just the weather or, you know, what the kids are doing in school or that sort of thing. I mean, really, really deep, heartfelt conversations. And this, this is open to anyone. So if anybody ever wants to come up and, and, uh, attend with me, whether it's, we're doing it on Facebook live or, we're having an in-person meeting or whatever. It's kind of a mix of both. And so <clears throat> anyway, hopefully that will continue. And uh, wow, it's just so great up here. It's just such a nice little getaway, even for one night. It's uh, it's kind of a reset for me. It kind of refreshes my soul. And so anyway, um, what's going on this week? Oh my gosh, I still have no AC. Hopefully I will hear something from the warranty company today. Um, you know, I'm going on my third week now <laughs> of having hair. Almost three weeks now. It's, uh, yeah, Thursday will be three weeks. So it's time to get this shit fixed. Although I am loving staying with my mom and Connor's having a great time because he has jacks to play with. Mmm. My God, that coffee just tastes like, oh, heaven. I brought my own 
little dab of cream because I don't like the powdered creamers that they always give you. So it's just a perfect cup of coffee. What may I say? So today's chapter from the Book of Awakening I have not read yet. I just kind of skimmed the first paragraph or two. And I thought, oh, this is going to be so good. It's called The Fly at the Window. Faith is the state of being ultimately concerned by Paul Tillich. It can't be helped. We return through different questions to the same central issue. How do we live fully? How do we live in such a way that the wonder of feeling outfuels the pain of breaking? I'm not sure. I am only trying myself. Each of us is a tiny will striving to find and ride the universal current without perishing. But faith seems crucial. The ability to inhabit the breadth of and depth of our compassion to know, even in the dark center of our pain, that somewhere out of view there is joy and wonder. That even when we tumble, we are part of a current larger than our own design. This is a hard bit of consciousness to ask for. Yet, even failing, faith, the life of concern, is possible. In actuality, the infinite coherence of all things and events continues like a great bottomless stream. And we all, and we like fish, and we, like fish, have but one choice. We don't like fish, we like fish. <laughs> have but one choice, to find and ride the flow. That stream is God, or the Tao, as the great Chinese sage Lao Tzu terms it. And the strength that lifts us when our tiny wills merge with that stream of being is the sacred luminosity we experience as grace. These were the hearts. Good morning, Victoria. Hi, Shelly. Once, once in the stream, the life of preparation ends. The life of defense ends. The measuring of individual traits ends. Fear somehow gives way to trust. Control somehow evaporates into surrender. The fish and stream are for the moment when the sacred moment and God are always the same. There is nothing else to live for, even the declaration changes, for it is no longer a living for, but a living out. Always the inner out, and once out and kept open, the flow, the whole flows in. So, faith is no more than willingness and bravery to enter and ride the stream. The mystery is that taking the risk to become so immersed in our moment of living in itself joins us with everything larger than us. Ah, the great whole. And what is compassion but entering the stream of another without losing yourself? That right there, I love that. Compassion, entering the stream of another without losing yourself. I remember one summer I was at the window when a fly near the latch was on its back, spinning, legs furious, going nowhere. I thought to swat it, but something in its struggle was too much my own. It kept spinning and trying to and began to tire. Without moving closer, I exhaled steadily, my breath a sudden wind, and the fly found its legs rubbed its face, and flew away. I continued to stare at the latch, hoping that someday the breath of something incomprehensible would write me and enable me to fly. Isn't that beautiful? Hi, Nancy, good morning. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh. Oh, such a... Such a small little act can have such great meaning. And this is what I love about this guy's writing, Mark Nepo. It's, you know, he takes common little everything, everyday things that none of us think about, or probably none of us think about, and he turns it into a lesson. And I love that sort of deep thinking because I don't always um, 
put things like that together very well. Uh, I just don't. So I talked a little bit about compassion yesterday, and this, that phrase in here just kind of brought it back to me about the Karuna Reiki and how Karuna basically means compassionate action. And that part of it, when I took the Karuna 1, between Karuna 1 and 2, there was a one-month period where during that time you're doing a lot of shadow work. And seriously, I felt bigger shifts in that month alone than I have in my entire life. Um, but compassionate action was one of them, and it was big. Um, you know, it's I talked about this on our live stream a little bit yesterday. It's having compassion for everything, not just myself, not just other people, but every living thing. And that was when I stopped eating meat. And I didn't even realize until recently the timing of that. And um, one day, you know, I, I saw a video on Facebook. And in fact, I shared it on my page. And this has been, you know, a few months ago. And when I watched it, I mean, I was just brought to tears. And I haven't eaten meat since. And um, I was a vegetarian for years and started eating meat Again, gosh, it's been 15, 20 years ago probably when I started eating meat again. And it's the, the compassion though comes from the looking at a cow and just saying, God, I love cows. They are so beautiful. Looking at baby calves and then turning around and having veal for dinner or a steak for dinner or a hamburger. And that was the trigger in me with the Karuna attunements. E it's made me walk my talk. And um, that's always kind of a hard thing to do, you know, when we go through these these shifts and being willing to be vulnerable, putting ourselves out there. So um, that was one of the big shifts in me when I, when I started doing Karuna Reiki. And Karuna Reiki is just, it's, it's beautiful for so many reasons. It's so healing for, um, for any like abuse in the past, um, traumas in childhood, uh, they're having really great results with uh, people with PTSD, um, things like that. It, it helps to heal in a way that is not so painful. That's what I love about it. You know, when we, when we heal these old traumas and, and these old things that are in our past, maybe they're not even in this lifetime, maybe they're from another lifetime. Those things surface over and over and over until we heal them. And it allows you to do that without it feeling so painful. There's going to be some pain involved, of course, you know. Um, it's not going to be completely simple, but it's much more gentle. It's like somebody gently setting you down on the ground rather than just dropping you and letting you hit the ground, you know what I mean? So, um, I love the Karuna Reiki. So, anyway, um, that's all I got for you today. I hope you have a great day. And uh, I'm going to meet with Terry Ann this morning. Uh, we're not going to go to the stupa. It's kind of wet out there. It's not raining at the moment. So, I don't know if maybe it's going to kind of clear up or whatever. But I'm going to get get down to town a little earlier today. Just because I know we've got more rain and stuff coming and. I don't want to be stuck somewhere in between. <laughs> and so, anyway, I'll have coffee and a chat with Terry Ann and head on down and uh, back in the groove of things. So, have a beautiful day, everybody. Thank you for being here. And um, please reach out if there's anything I can help you with, okay? I love you guys. Bye.